Hey all, Hippo here. So today it is Xiang Ba Day, and um, this is the tier 7 premium battleship that's not available anymore. And uh, I use Geprat as the commander along with Megatron for more range. And then Kirishima, sure, no, uh, I pet you, Kirishima here, uh, to make me go dark quicker. And uh, I'll explain why later. And uh, maximum battle speed, battleship speed here is a good uh, thing for Xian Ba, and I'll show you later. Then I have Brawler, and then I have Crisscross, and uh, the next one here is the most important one is the Megalomania. Uh, it decreases the re reload even further, and um, like the time for you to go dark is decreased by 25 seconds, 25%, uh, sorry. And then when you add Kirishima onto that, there's another 8%. And uh, if she was fully um, maxed, that would in all be 35%, meaning you go dark in about 12 seconds. Um, aiming systems, I have rudder in the second, and then obviously I have target acquisition, and then I have the improved reload here. So I kind of spec into reload on this build here, and I have four repairs, two reload boosts, and two uh, engine boosts. So a 16 and a half kilometer range, and uh, 18 second reload. And uh, that means that you can and you shouldn't play Xiang Ba as a sniper battleship. It's not. Uh, it's not. And I see it played like that all the time. Xiang Ba has a speed boost for a reason, and I'll show you in the beginning of the battle here how I use it. And it's basically to uh, get into a very good position right off the bat, because Xiang Ba is an assault ship, and um, that's what you do in uh, assault ships. You uh, rush to uh, cover, and then you peek out, and uh, you uh, well, pretty much like shoot enemies with your uh, assault rifle. That's it. So uh, here, I've spawned in the middle. So uh, I am going to uh, take up a position um, as good as I can get in the middle here, because obviously there's no point reversing here. This is a capture the base map, so there's also no reason to push too much. So, uh, like I said before, I pop the speed boost immediately and then I find a good spot where I can sit and have at least one broadside protected and, this is important, uh, still be able to hit the enemies. But you can see here, I don't shoot at the first target that pops up because this guy is bow on and that would pretty much just be a waste. Perhaps I would get 500 damage or something like that and uh, it's just not worth it. I would just give away my position. Instead, I'm waiting and I get this Georgia here instead, broadside. And uh, that's what we like to see. And at the same time, I just finish my positioning here and uh, we get two citadels on that guy. So that's 27,000 damage instead of perhaps 500, 800 from the Bauer on tier 6. So uh, yeah, we much prefer this Georgia here and we get another citadel there. So we're at 43,000 here with like pretty much a minute played. So uh, from this position here, I have control of half the map. I am protecting my own broadside and uh, I am still able to uh, punish enemies. Uh, it's not like I don't have any targets at all. And uh, I have also made sure that I have plenty of options because uh, I pretty much have four directions I can uh, move in. I have two forward directions, like pushing or, you know, uh, starting to kite away. And uh, the same thing going uh, uh, backwards, of course. And like I said, my broadside is safe here. Because in this battle here, there is a three-man uh, division of very good players. And I happen to know that they will uh, target me and focus me if they can. And uh, here, I'm not really paying attention. I'm letting my uh, nose get out too far. and. <laughs> Chewy bubblegum is on me, like a uh, yeah, a cat on a dead fish, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> so uh, he's in the freeze land, so it doesn't really matter that much. But uh, if he had been in a destroyer with torpedoes, this would have been like a severe oversight on my part. But he's not, so it doesn't really matter here. I'll just uh, tuck my nose back in and uh, just concentrate on whacking the Sean horse here over on the other flank. Because um, like I said, I spawned in the middle, so. Uh, I take a pick here and uh, I can pretty much hit anyone on about 60% of the map here. And uh, if you look at the ships 
positioning over on my flank here, it's perfect positioning. They've each taken up an island, and uh, that keeps the reds from pushing. And uh, that's the worst thing that could happen, because pushing on my flank means that they will surround me and be able to hit me uh, in my butt, basically, like the turret is doing now. But that's because I reversed too much this time. So uh, another tip I want to share here with battleships is that uh, this Shano SG is almost dead. So uh, I give him one last salvo and uh, then I almost kill him, but he has like 500, 800 uh, hit points left. And yes, it would be an easy kill, but it would also be a very pointless salvo. It's much better to use my uh, uh, battleship powers to start to whittle down this hipper here, because he is going for the rush it looks like. And uh, that was nearly an 8,000 salvo. So it also works out for me. Yeah, I miss out on a kill, but I get 8,000 damage instead of like 700 or something like that. And like I said, that Shanhaus was dead anyway. Uh, even a destroyer could take that thing out with just a few salvos. So there's no point wasting a whole battleship salvo uh, to like basically uh, kill a ship that is dead as soon as someone else reloads. And uh, it's even worse to do it when you have another ship broadside that's near full health. It's much better to use your uh, battleship salvo on uh, like taking 8k of health off a hipper that only has 40,000 in total. And uh, like I said, yes, you miss out on a kill, but really, kills are not important in this game here. So uh, that's three tips so far. The first one is uh, like push up, position well. Uh, get into a position where you can punish the red team and not get punished yourself. And the second tip is, uh, don't just fire immediately when you see the enemies. Wait for like the perfect shot, or at least a much better shot than a bow on battleship. That's going to do nothing. And uh, obviously, the third thing I did here was uh, don't waste your battleship salvos on ships with a sliver of health left, especially when they are rushing another three friendly ships. So obviously it's just a matter of time, a few seconds, probably, before one of the other ships takes that red ship out. And my battleship salvo was much better spent uh, taking a quarter health off that hipper there. And if I was lucky, I would have gotten a few citadels on him, but uh, I wasn't. So uh, in Capture the Base games, if I can, I usually uh, just uh, soften the enemy up for the first five minutes, and then I start to push. And it's been five minutes now and there's no real immediate danger here or anything like that, so that means it's time to push. And uh, also we've lost the battleship on my flank, so I'm going to take over instead of uh, the other guy. And unfortunately this monarch here is just uh, in a bad spot, otherwise I would have been able to finish him off. Um, and I'm just checking and uh, it turns out that Chewy Bubblegum is dead, so I have nothing to fear. <laughs> so that's why I am... I am uh, moving forward now with speed boost on. I just had to check that first. Uh, because uh, although he doesn't have torpedoes, he is still a force to be reckoned with. So <laughs> I don't want to run into him unprepared. So again, we have the North Carolina here. And um, I, I don't have anything else to shoot at. That's why I'm shooting at him. But that cell was, was never going to do anything remarkable. So uh, again, I'm using my battleship as a uh, battering ram, pretty much here. I am using my speed boost and I am sprinting towards the next island where I can pretty much set up again if I have to and uh, redo the whole thing I did at the previous island. Uh, I don't really have to now because there's only three reds left and uh, none of them are really much of a threat. So uh, instead of taking up position behind this island here in front of me, I'm just going to continue because uh, I'm nearly full health and uh, there's really no point in uh, sitting back here and dragging things out. And uh, the Fiji is broadside on, so uh, that's just asking for over penetrations here. And uh, as you can see, as soon as he fires, he's going for my guns. Uh, he's hoping to uh, take them out of action. So uh, I just need him to turn just a little bit. So uh, I can get some good penetrations or perhaps a citadel on this guy here. Um, and uh, like no matter what, I'm just going to fire at him. But uh, he actually ends up turning just before my reload finishes. And uh, that's exactly what we want. So just uh, give him a little tap there and then he's gone. 
So, and of course, at the same time, I make sure I don't show broadside to the um, North Carolina there. Uh, I keep this island between him and me, so uh, I, I take his guns out of the equation and there's really nothing he can do. Uh, and then we'll just uh, push on, because now there's only two left. And uh, here again, just uh, yeah, a very unlucky shot there, because that Helena should have been removed from the surface of the earth with that salvo, but it didn't. And that's just annoying, but uh, that's okay, we just keep pushing. Um, like I said, there's, uh, there's only two left and there's five of us, and uh, I'm just trying to see if this guy goes full broadside before I fire, but he doesn't, he starts to turn back in and then I fire, but uh, he's still too angled for me to really do any any huge damage. And uh, I'm not gonna switch to HE, because that cruiser could show broadside at any time, so I want to be able to whack him. And uh, I'm not targeting him on purpose, because I want him to show broadside, but he doesn't. And then I'm just gonna, well, shoot at him bow on. And uh, yeah, at that distance, that's pretty much a, a well, not a sure kill, but pretty much a sure kill. And uh, this North Carolina is reloaded again, so he's going to take another shot. And uh, again, he doesn't angle completely. I mean, this guy isn't stupid. Like, he doesn't show complete broadside, that's what I mean. So again, I waste a salvo, but then I'm so lucky that my secondaries actually take him out. So uh, just get a close quarters expert there. And like, this is by no means a uh, barn burner of a champ bar game or anything like that, but it shows you some of the things that I do in a battleship um, and uh, it works well for me. So uh, I hope you enjoyed this video here guys and I'll see you out there.